Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to create incremental timer using jQuery. Here is the demo. I am clicking on start button. Here the numbers are getting incrementing. Let's see how the HTML is. Here in using span, I am displaying the numbers and on clicking of start button, I am calling this incremental counter function. Let's see how it works. In uh, JavaScript, I have already uh, set my destination value as 10.000. Here is the beginning value which I want to display on the DOM at the beginning that is 0, 0.000. In num element it is a variable. In this I am storing the value which is 0, 0.000. In final value I am using a split function over here. Using split function I am splitting this value by this dot over here. So I am getting two parts over here that is 10 and this 000. zero, zero. So as the key over here the key is 0 so in final value the 10 will get stored and in decimal value this 000, zero, zero will get stored. Here is the incremental counter function. In this uh, this is a variable current decimal. In this current decimal I am storing the value which is uh, incrementing by 27 I'm incrementing that by it by 27 that is a, a decimal value that is uh, using split function again I am attacking the decimal value which is 000 and I'm incrementing it by 27 so in current decimal the 27 will get stored at first time now here in current value I'm here also I'm using split function and the key is 0 so the zero th 0 will be stored over here that is in current value and here I am printing that value and on the DOM that is current value dot current decimal that is 0 0.27 will get print over there the same steps I am going to repeat with some conditions like here I am giving condition if current decimal is less than equal to 999 means the current decimal value is if it is less than equal to 999 if yes then here I am using set timeout function uh, is it is a function uh, which is uh, which here I am using it to uh, increment it by 27 after a specific period of time here you can set if uh, you wanna increment it by one second then you can just set over here thousand I am setting it over here zero so it will get increment as faster as it so in timer it will get store if this condition get fails then I am I'm incrementing the whole number by 2 and I am displaying it on the DOM again here is a condition that is if current value is less than equal to final value our final value is 10 and the current value is 0 so obviously this condition is uh, true and it will get into this so again in this set timeout function I am using over here and again I am incrementing it by uh, as I have already explained you if this condition get false then it will fall into the else part and I am here I am uh, displaying the my final value and the decimal value my final value will be the 10 and the decimal uh, final decimal value is 10.0 sorry 000, 000. thank you